I first got into boat building after I got out of college. I was actually teaching writing and I needed a summer job, so I took a job at the Maritime Museum in San Francisco. Got a job in the shop as assistant to the boat builder and really fell in love with that work. At that time, I had uh, one of my best friends was my former college roommate who was from Hiroshima, Japan and he had been badgering me for years to come visit his native country. Ultimately I started to travel the coastline and I met some boat builders and I, I was really intrigued with these boats because they were so unlike everything from my tradition of boat building. And, um, and that just grew. I was really hooked from the first trip. Eventually kind of laid the groundwork, really developed a relationship with one particular craftsman whom on my third trip invited me to be his apprentice. Working alongside him really showed me that that was the only effective way to document the craft. My work is about documenting Japanese boat building techniques, designs and techniques. But in Japan, crafts are really the, the, the amount of secrecy embedded in Japanese crafts is really extraordinary that they left no record that could survive them. Uh, most of my teachers use no drawings whatsoever. They worked entirely from memory. And I could ask the questions and record the details necessary to document the craft in drawings and in many cases now books writing manuscripts about how to build these boats and it's it's my effort to try to preserve the craft. My relationship with the Anderson Japanese Garden goes back a couple of years. They commissioned me to build a boat for the garden and I was thinking about the different boats I'd built in Japan and I settled on this design as an appropriate one from the garden. This is called a tenmasen. Tenmasen is a, a very catch-all word in Japan for a basic work boat. Uh, I hope to the visitors it represents, it looks foreign. Um, they, can, uh, they can rest assured it's very Japanese. It's right out of the Japanese tradition. So it's in keeping with the overall theme of the garden. And um, let's hope they can enjoy it for years to come.